Today we're going to review part number 35545i-ez-89. This is the Dexter trailer axle with the straight Easy Lube spindles and the five on four and a half inch idler hubs. This part is 89 inches length and a 3,500 pound weight capacity. Now this axle beam will act as part of your trailer suspension system. You can use this to replace an axle on your trailer or you can fabricate a suspension to fit your application. It does come with the spindle nut on the end, the D-ring washer, and the nut retainer. And also when we do ship them, we will have grease over the machined area of the spindle, and then we put a corrugated tube over it and tape it into place to protect the spindles on the end so they don't get damaged. Now this axle is made of a high strength steel construction. The idler hubs are a cast iron, which are sturdy and durable. It does come with everything showing here. It comes with the inner bearings, the outer bearings, comes with the races, the bearing races, which are already pre-installed in the hubs themselves, comes with the grease seals, the double lip grease seals, comes with the Easy Lube grease caps, and what's nice about that is on an Easy Lube axle, which this is, the nice thing is, is when you go to lube your bearings in there, you can just put a grease gun on the end here and pump in the grease, and that'll fill the cavity with the grease as needed keeps you from having to take off the hub assembly, get the bearings out, lube them, and then put it all back together. With leaving the assembly on there, you can just pump grease in through that grease zerk fitting on the end, and that's where the Easy Lube center caps are nice, because when you have those on your hub, you can just pop out the middle, which is a rubber plug, and then that could give you access to that grease zerk fitting. <clears throat> also includes the 10 half inch lug nuts which are used to hold your wheel assembly onto your hubs and it also come with the marine grade wheel bearing grease here in this tube now this tube is a 14 ounce tube it's designed to be used with a grease gun if you have your own grease gun this would work in it if it uses 14 ounce tubes if not we do sell a related product which is a grease gun that would use the 14 ounce tubes it's part number L30200 this is their grease gun <clears throat> Now also, all axles will have a bend in the middle here, and this will help create a camber angle for even road to tread contact across the width of your trailer's tires. Basically, the center would raise up, and the ends would be lower, and the center being a bit higher and the sides lower, this allows the axle to give just enough to compensate for the load. So when this is installed like this with it up in the center, as you put the load on, it would flatten out that axle sum and then have your tires run equally across the full tread of the tires. Doing that will give you excellent straight line acceleration for steady inline tracking. Now this axle is a underslung design. As you can see here, the spring seats are welded to the underside of the axle. This is where you would mount your leaf springs on your axle. The leaf springs we do sell separately. But with them being on the underside of the axle, it will give a low ride height, which will make it easier to load and unload your trailer. And again, it does have these straight easy lube spindles. There's no drop to them. They're straight out. Again, I mentioned the built-in grease cirque fitting for the simple lubrication. Now the spring seats and the spindle are all welded on. If you'll notice on this axle, it does have a welded on four bolt brake mounting flange and it does have wiring on each end. This is if down the road you ever want to add electric brakes to your trailer, you can bolt the brakes to this and then use the wiring right here. <clears throat> now there are many ways you can measure the length of an axle beam, which is critical, but usually there's two most accurate ways, and it's the hub face to hub face and the spring center to spring center lengths. They're the most accurate. Basically, the hub face would be as once these hubs would be installed on each end, you would be measuring from the base right here. If it's installed like this, you'd measure from the base of the one wheel stud to the base of the wheel stud on the opposite side of the axle, and that would give you your hub face to hub face measurement. <clears throat> so in this case, I don't have the hubs on, but I will show you that the hub face measurement on this would be right at 89 inches. And then the other measurement would be the spring center, which is the approximate width of your trailer. Basically what that is, is your spring mounts right here from the center of this one to the center of the one on the other end. And on this axle, it would measure center to center right at 74 inches. So that would be your spring center to spring center length. <clears throat> so 
So basically, if you're replacing your trailer's axle, you should be able to figure out which type you need by determining the capacity, which on this one was 3,500 pounds, the bolt pattern of your wheels, the brake type if you're going to use brakes, and then these lengths I mentioned, the hub face to hub face and the spring center lengths. So just a few specs on this axle again. Weight capacity is 3,500 pounds. Hub face to hub face was 89 inches. Spring center to spring center was 74. The hub bolt pattern on these idler hubs is five on four and a half inches. Tubing outer diameter on this is two and three eighths inches. The diameter on the spindle itself is one and one sixteenth. And the studs on the idler hubs are a half inch, so they use the half inch lug nuts. And this will work on a wheel size of 13 inches to 17 and a half inches. But that should do it for the review on part number 35545I-EZ-89, the Dexter trailer axle with the straight easy lube spindles and the five on four and a half inch idler hubs.